I don't, I've been referred to as an expert, right? And people look at books that I've written and stuff like that. And I've never felt that way. And I, I would want to be an expert learner. And Katie Novak will be, if she's listening, would be so excited about, you know, hearing that. Like really like try to understand learning, but that's a whole process. But when you're, and you, you mentioned earlier and we kind of lost it because we had a little uh, connection issue. Um, those spaces when, when I do those keynotes, when, you know, I, I love sharing ideas, but I'm like open to the pushback after. And it's, yeah. it's kind of like, it really sharpens, um, you know, kind of what I'm thinking. And I, I'll tell you, so I've done a very similar keynote, you know, many, many times. And I know you've seen it more than once. And I always try to tweak and things like that. I could go through every element of my, of a keynote that I've done you know, a hundred times over and say, Hey, I remember talking about this and this person challenged me in Wisconsin. And so I changed it because that, that made sense on how they rephrased it. And I remember here I was in, you know, Calgary, Alberta, Canada, and somebody said this to me and that made me think different about that. And so like, it's like everything that I share, I feel has like little remnants of conversations that I've had over time that have made me better. Right. And I think, for me, it's not about me being better than someone. It's about me be becoming better at what I do. And that means kind of tapping into others. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, you speak to that, you know, the keynotes have a great purpose of energizing and starting mm. people thinking, but you give that keynote and then, yeah, there's, mm. if there's no follow-up and I've been at conferences where you've given a keynote and then maybe that's it, but some of yep. the other ones, you have some follow-up sessions, and I, I love sitting in on those follow-up sessions because really that's where some great conversation and great mm -hmm. growth happens. And you say it's um, not just you, and it's really not just you. You're growing, but also the participants are growing, and mm -hmm. it really, it's really powerful stuff. And really, I think, I think that speaks to something we want in our classrooms too. If you are just stopping with what you do in terms of lecture and there's no conversation. Um, I think that's an issue. And now as me as a teacher, uh, I'm not someone who sits up and lectures a lot. And I'm not someone who's going to, who doesn't do a great job at facilitating large group discussion. Mm -hmm. But I think the great thing I love about technology is that the ability to have those conversations digitally with my students.